فقولا له قولا لينا لعله يتذكر أو يخشى قالا ربنا إننا نخاف أن يفرط علينا أو أن يطغى قال لا تخافا إنني معكما أسمع وأرى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Peace be with you we talked about the courage to be alone and the courage to be a brother and a sister. And there is this very difficult one, which is the courage to get married. Of course, very often when we speak about marriage, we think about love and to be together in this all good and fine. Yet there are uh, challenges and there are uh, requirements when it comes to dealing with the other. And as we find it in the Quran, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً And among his signs, he created from you, extracted from you, drawn from you, the spouse and the other, the, bra the, the, the husband and the wife, in order for you to get this dwelling, this home, this security, the space of security for both of you. And this is among his signs, something which is helping you to acknowledge the fact that we, being married means that you are completing something. What does it mean? We very often think about the biological dimension of the whole uh, issue, which is not the point. The point is that when it comes to you, when it comes to your spiritual journey, you need to listen, you need to talk, you need to communicate, you need to find the other who is going to help you to complete your spiritual journey, to elevate yourself out of your and, and, and beyond your weaknesses and out of your qualities. So to get married means that uh, you are realizing a project of life, a meaning for your life with the other, knowing your intimate life, sharing with him and with her uh, your uh, spiritual needs and of course your human needs and your biological needs, but it's all together that you have to, to get. And, and understanding this means that to have the courage to get married means, okay, I need to know that there are sacrifices in my daily life about this common space that we'll get together to listen to you, to be with you, to go along with your qualities, but also your weaknesses. But we, Because as much as you are not perfect, she or he is not perfect, and you have to deal with his or her weaknesses. And this is why you find in the Quran what I said. مودة ورحمة وجعلنا وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة المودة which is this affection this love is the way you are gathered and you are together because and and, and thanks to your uh, qualities but when it comes to your weaknesses when it comes to things that are with you and within you and you have to deal with it he helps you by putting between you رحمة Ruhama baynahum means that you are full of grace, full of understanding, full of love and affection, that you can go beyond his or her weaknesses and to deal with it and to help him or her to be a better person. At the end of the day in the spiritual journey, to get married and to have the courage to translate this into practice, into reality means I'm helping you as much as you are helping me to be with you, to be with God in order to be a better person and this is the meaning of getting married don't forget to tell the people you love that you love them life is fragile <laughs>